Right now, Google is drastically increasing the amount of automated learning that it's using on your Google Ads campaigns. And if you're not very careful and just mindlessly listen to everything your Google rep tells you or quickly accept every single recommendation that Google Ads gives you in the Google Ads dashboard, you will see a large increase in the number of clicks, impressions, and costs that you're paying every single day in Google Ads. But unfortunately, you'll also see a big decrease in the important things, the amount of conversions, and your conversion rate and your acquisition costs that you need for your business. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the five biggest mistakes that I see in Google Ads campaigns right now. And I wanted to share this information with you so that you can make sure that your Google Ads campaign is set up in the best possible way so that you can actually get those conversions, sales, and inquiries every single day that your business needs. My name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And this is where I share all of my skills and strategies that are generating multiple millions of dollars every single year for businesses all around the world. So if you would like to learn how to create and optimize profitable Google Ads campaigns, why don't you give me a quick subscribe right now. Thank you very much. All right, let's get into those five biggest mistakes that you need to avoid in your Google Ads campaign. And the first biggest mistake that I see is that people don't actually go into Google Analytics and check their Google Ads data. Now, Google Ads gives us some great data in regards to our click-through ratios, our average cost per click, and our conversion rates. But what the Google Ads dashboard doesn't tell you is it doesn't let you know what actually happens when someone clicks on your ad and then goes through to your website. Especially very early in your campaign, in those first 30 to 45 days, where you're going through and trying to build up those conversion actions or those sales for your business, your Google Analytics profile will give you so much data that you can use to increase the performance of your Google Ads campaign. And that's because Google Analytics will be able to give you some very quick factors which will let you know about the quality of the traffic that you're targeting in Google Ads. And the better quality traffic that we target in Google Ads means the better results that we will be getting. So a very quick way to be able to judge the quality of your Google Ads traffic is to go to our Google Analytics dashboard and then when we're in Google Analytics, we wanna go into this acquisition tab and then overview. Now I make sure that I'm looking at at least 30 to 60 days of data here. And what we quickly wanna do is we wanna go through and have a look at how our Google Ads traffic relates to other avenues of traffic. And by going to this overview, you will see how your page search or your Google Ads traffic compares with social, organic, direct, and any other traffic forms that your website may be generating. And so what we can see here very, very quickly is that when we look at our page search bounce rate of 65%, that is in line with our website bounce rate of 64%. And if you don't know, your bounce rate records the percentage of visitors who only visit one page on your website. And then from there, we also wanna go over and have a look at our goal conversion rate. And we can see here with our page search that it's at 9.62% versus the total website conversion rate of 6.79%. Once again, this is telling us that this is a very strong campaign. And if we wanna look at this data further, we can just click on the page search tab. And then this breaks down the total amount for us in here. And if we were to see that we were having a very low average session duration or a very low goal conversion rate, versus the rest of your website, we know that our Google Ads campaign is not targeting the best keyword searches, audiences, or demographics. So by checking our Google Analytics data, it lets us very, very quickly know whether we are targeting the right type of traffic before we continue to go through and spend more and more money in Google Ads without getting any extra results. And when we talk about targeting the right type of keyword searches, this brings us to the second biggest mistake, and that is trusting exact match keywords. If you only take one thing out of this video, is I want you to understand that Google Ads exact match keywords are dead. And if you have been running Google Ads campaigns for more than two years, you need to understand that Google Ads exact match keywords do not function the way that they used to function and the way that you think they function. And this point is so important, and that is why I've been emphasizing this point in my recent teaching videos. Because I wanna make it clear and let everyone who's currently managing and optimizing Google Ads campaigns is that Google Ads exact match targeting has drastically changed. And that is, is that Google Ads has actually moved its exact match targeting over to an intent or meaning basis. So for example, if you're using exact max targeting for the keyword of pest control service, your ads and your precious Google Ads budget could be triggering searches like DIY 
pest control service. Or if you're selling baby products like baby earmuffs and you're using the exact match keyword of baby earmuffs or buy baby earmuffs, once again, your ads could be triggered for search terms like buy baby earplugs. And the reason for that is because Google no longer only takes the keywords that you're wanting to target, is that Google actually also puts in its intent or meaning to run some different split tests to see if there's broader keyword themes that your ads will work on. And for that second example I gave of baby earmuffs versus baby earplugs, they are two very different products with two different markets. And if you're not aware of that and checking your search term audits, you will actually be wasting a lot of money and you may not even know about it. So to combat this at least on a weekly basis, but I recommend twice a week or every 72 hours, you need to go and complete a search term audit, which is where you actually go into keywords and then search terms and then review every single search term which has triggered your ads. And if you see any search terms which you don't wanna be used to trigger your ads, you just need to quickly select them and then add them in as a negative keyword so that Google no longer uses that search term to trigger your ads. Now we get to the third biggest mistake that I see in Google Ads right now, and that is that people are not split testing their responsive search ads. At the time of this recording, we are just two months away from Google Ads removing the ability for us to be able to create any new or edit any existing expanded text ads. But even with this change, you need to be running at least two different responsive search ads in each ad group. And the reason for this is that Google actually needs 5,000 impressions in a 30 day period in order to be able to split test one responsive search ad. But the problem with that is, is that the vast majority of ad groups will not be actually getting 5,000 impressions in a 30 day period, which means that your responsive search ad will just be going through an endless learning loop with Google never actually knowing which are the best headlines and descriptions to show for your campaign. And this is why you need to run manual split tests with your responsive search ads. And despite what you may have heard, this can still be done even with the change to Google moving over to responsive search ads only. Now I've actually released a full video on this where I discuss the new responsive search ads and also take you through the step-by-step -step process of how to actually split test your new responsive search ads. And if you stick around to this end of this video, I'll actually share that video with you so that you can watch this as soon as you've heard the last two biggest mistakes to avoid in your Google Ads campaign. The next biggest mistake that I see in Google Ads campaigns is that people are only targeting by keywords. A big mistake is that people think that you can only target your Google Ads campaigns via keywords. That is completely incorrect because there are four core elements that you can use to target in Google Ads. And they are obviously your keywords, your locations, but then the all important audiences and demographics. So the big fourth mistake that I wanna highlight is that people are not using audience or demographic targeting in their Google Ads campaigns. And this is a hugely costly mistake because if you add in extra audience and demographic targeting into your Google Ads campaigns, it means that you can actually filter down who actually sees your ads so that you're not only targeting the keywords, you're also targeting the type of people who are entering those keywords who are more likely to buy your product or order your service. For example, if you're selling a baby product, but specifically an infant product that can only be used by parents in that first year of having their young baby, rather than targeting all parents, you wanna be specifically going into your audience targeting and only targeting those audiences around parents with infants. Or if you're running a home maintenance service and you're advertising like an air conditioning maintenance and you know that this is only responsible for homeowners, you can actually target your demographics to people who are only homeowners. And that cuts out a lot of searches by renters who might be doing some Google searching just to actually find out about the air conditioning maintenance and whether it's the responsibility of the homeowner or the renter. And this stops you wasting your valuable budget on people who are never gonna order your service because they're actually not the homeowner or the person who is responsible for that service. And now we come to number five, the last biggest mistake that I wanna share. And this is actually the biggest mistake of them all. And the biggest mistake that I actually see is that people don't actually even have a strategy or a schedule of how and when they're gonna optimize their Google Ads account. And this point is so important because there are some things like your search term audits, which you need to be checking either once or twice a week, where there are other actions like your audience bid optimizations or reviewing your smart bidding strategies that you don't wanna be checking every week because sometimes they only need to be checked monthly 
or every three months. But the good news is, is that even though this is the biggest mistake that I see in many Google Ads accounts, is that it's actually the easiest to fix. And the reason for that is because I've actually got a free Google Ads optimization checklist that I wanna share with you today. And if you'd like to get your very own copy of my Google Ads optimization checklist, which lists out exactly which optimizations you need to complete on your Google Ads account today, you can get yours by following the link in the description below. And the checklist that you're gonna be getting right now is a checklist that I still use every single day when I optimize my Google Ads account. So that is my five biggest mistakes that you need to avoid in your Google Ads account. Now, as promised, remember how I said, if you wanna learn more about responsive search ads and how to correctly complete your split testing, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you so much for watching this teaching video and I look forward to seeing you very soon. See ya.